Hey everybody, it's Matthias again, and today we're going to show you the new redirects module of Typo 3 version 9.1. So. so, in this video, we're going to explain a bit about the site's redirect module and the idea behind it. So, let's jump right in. If you log into a 9.1 or later installation, you might have a new main module which is called site management and over the next couple of months we're going to add more and more functionality to that main module everything related to sites so domain handling templating uh, redirects obviously speaking urls these things will all go into the site management module and the first module in the site management main module is redirect so let's take a look if we go into the redirects module, you can see we don't have any redirects defined so far, so we're going to create a new one. And this is the basic form. It's pretty straightforward. It'll start with the source domain, which means for which domain this redirect basically is. You can just leave this at asterisk at this place, then it will redirect to any domain that you have set up. For convenience reasons, you can just select from a list of available domains here, obviously, we don't have one yet, but as soon as you add more domain records to your system, these will show up here. The next thing we need is the source path. We're going to set the source path to Hey YouTube. It's not a regular expression, so we don't need to instruct the system that it actually is. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a page target where we want to link to, and we'll go for the features page in this uh, demo. What you can also do is define the type of redirect. So you can have a temporary redirect, which is the default, because you might want to have, well, control over what's actually going on. You can also define the 301 HTTP status code, which is moved permanently. You can use 302, which is basically, we found it at a different place. Then there's 303, which means see at another location, or as we discussed, the 307 temporary redirect mode. You can force the redirect to run to SSL, which you should have on by default, but it's just there for good measure. And you can also instruct the system to keep the get parameters while redirecting. And we're going to check this now. If we save and close this, then the link obviously shows up here. If we click to the view box, or the view icon, you can basically see in the lower left hand corner that it will immediately redirect or open up the redirect that we want to test. So we can just click this and we can see we're now on the features page and if we show the uh, URL here, you can now see that actually it redirected us to the features page. So if we go to, hey, YouTube, and we add a couple of get parameters to that. And we click it. You can now see that we have been redirected to features, but the keep and me get parameter basically were kept in place. This is helpful when you have redirects that rely on having certain get parameters in place. And that's how easy it is to use. There's a couple more things that we want to add in the future. So, for example, if you rename a page in the page tree with the new upcoming speaking URL management from core, it'll automatically ask you to create or not create the redirects for you. So, it's very, very helpful. You just simply rename a page anywhere within the page tree and TYPO3 will automatically detect the changes to your speaking URLs that you will need. So, this is basically it. So if you have any feedback on this, hit us up on Typo3 Slack, test the functionality, add feature requests, or just comment in the box down below. So that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.